All right, folks. So, I've already done, I'm doing the A7C, and I'm testing out three focal lengths. The 24, the 40, which is close to 35, and the 50 millimeter. All small compact lenses, the Sony G lenses. So the 40 millimeter, 50 millimeter, with the strange uh, lens hood, is at 2.5. And on the 24 millimeter, which I've already shot, is the typical small uh, lens hood. But uh, they're fantastic lenses. They have the aperture rings on there. I'm uh, doing two formats. I'm doing, I'm filming this in uh, 4K 60. A7C only does 4K 30. But I am filming also in high definition 120. And then I'm just going to compare the footage all together. So I've shot in aperture priority for stills. And then in the movie mode, I've been shooting in uh, program. So uh, anyway, let's get back to uh, shooting some pictures. And I'll probably uh, do one more video out here. I'm using the uh, 50 millimeter F1.8. So you can compare the 2.5 with the 1.8. And this is on the Sony ZV-E1. So I thought I'd try this to see how everything looks. Okay, it feels like Easter. I don't... Yep, you hear my voice. So this is high definition. Okay, with a 24 millimeter. I don't know uh, how clear it is. But I thought I'd try it pretty neat. Um, battery's already down 88%. Wow. But uh, anyway, there's Wanda at uh, 120. <laughs> I, I thought I'd try it. Now I'm going to change it. So, She's a little bit further away, so I don't know if there was a crop. But uh, the funny thing, oops, I don't want to see that. <laughs> you don't want to see that. Uh, there might have been a crop at that high definition 120. But I'm walking around, it's 4K 30 now. And this is 24 millimeters. Okay, I got the uh, steady shot on. I got it on uh, clear profile, so it's a little bit richer. Um, I was debating between deep and clear. Uh, I think neutral was too light. So this is 24 millimeter, okay? Just walking around the backyard. So what do you think? Let's get some close-up of that. Beautiful flowers are coming out. I'll take some pictures. Okay. Oh, let's do a vlogging test. Pull out the screen. Okay, so I'm walking around. Uh, the problem with A7C, if I look on the screen, they have a black bar that shows you everything. I haven't figured out how to turn it off, but anyway, I'm liking this clear, you know, picture profile. I have no um, selfie stick, I'm just holding the camera. Uh, Shout out to um, Dylan Blackburn. I love his videos on um, the A7C. 
I'm looking at the 87 CR or the A7C2. I don't know. But uh, with this camera, it's still good, but there's many of the features that's missing. You know, like the 4K60 or whatever. The um, auto panning or frame, auto framing. That's it. It crops you in and then it kind of follows you. So, anyway. That's the end of this one. This is the uh, 24G and it's a uh, 2.8. Okay, folks, here we go. So here's the first, uh, and these are all raw files with the uh, 24 millimeter. So you can see how wide the view is, but still, it's clear. I mean, I love the pictures. At 2.8, it's not bad. I have a couple of lenses that are 2.8, and they're fantastic. And they're especially good on the outside. So this is the first one. And what I'm going to do is I'll just show you all the pictures on the f2.8. And let's see. I think I can expand it. There we go. I'll expand it a little bit. I'll just put this right about here, okay? So these are all 24 millimeter, all right? Here's the next one. So I've gotten a lot closer. I can also, I think, increase it a little bit just to show you how clear it is. This is only a 24 megapixel camera, but take a look at the leaves and stuff. Isn't that something? I think that's, now yeah, one more. Ah, there it is, okay. So this is still the 24. And I'm trying to show you some. But this is a nice shot right here. So this is all the 24 millimeter. Right here. Here. You really can't see it. You know, I'm just shooting far away. Now I'm trying to get as close as possible. Okay, that's the next one. So, this is what I do. Oh, here. All right. This is 4K. 120. Oh, I, I take that back. It's high definition 120. So this is in program mode. I get the steady shot on. It's kind of a cloudy day. Now, tell me this. I'm trying to figure out how we get snails here. But look at that. They're all over the place. They just climb up on my fence. Not even there. I think he, that's him. He died. <laughs> so anyway, just walking around. Let's take a look. Beautiful tree back here. Dead branch. Some of the leaves are turning. See, I see that on my also. So I don't know if the leaves are dying or, or what's going on. But uh, anyhow, let's walk around. This is the Sony A7C. Okay, still a great camera. I got it on the uh, clear picture profile. 
was either that or deep, and I think clear was had a little pop to it. This is an 8 bit video. And then 120. Okay, let's go to uh, 4K30. Okay, 4K30. Same thing. So what I'm doing is I'm comparing the crop 120 to 4K30. 120 is the high definition. Now let's turn this around for uh, vlogging purposes. Okay, so 40 megahertz or 40 uh, millimeters. Like a, I'm on a full screen, okay? So this is like a 35, but I'm using the A7C, okay? And here's my truck. <laughs> I'm getting my rucksacks. Talk to you later. All right, folks. Let's make this big again. All right, this is the 40 millimeter. Is that... Uh, 2.5. I've taken a couple of pictures. So I, I try to get the uh, flowers in uh, focus. So you can see some parts are in focus, some aren't. But it's pretty clear. Now that's a nice shot right there. Let's expand it a little bit. Remember, this is just a 24 megapixel camera, but still, you know, it's still good, still sharp. Yeah, it's a little blurry right there, but I didn't have a macro lens, okay? Now that's blurry also. So the wind was blowing at that time and then it's it started to rain, so I had to hurry up. But that's a nice picture. I love this tree with the little uh, berries and flowers that's going to come out shortly. See, they're going to be white flowers right there. Beautiful tree. It's my neighbor's tree, but I let it hang over my fence. Yeah, spring is here. This is all the 40 millimeter. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm back again. It's frustrating. It wasn't for me, and uh, I looked at my, uh, uh, I'm supposed to get it, what is it? Uh, in, yeah, it's on moving mode. Uh, tomorrow. I got two of them, and they're pretty big, and I think I can put more gear and lenses in there, so I think I can put in two cameras and with about, four or five lenses. So, looking forward to that. Uh, it looked pretty nice. They got outside pockets. So it looks like uh, pretty nice uh, backpacks. I got two of them. So, anyway, this is the 40 millimeter. Okay, kind of like the 35. So it's a little bit bigger, but this gives you 
of kind of uh, the focal length. So uh, it's doing pretty good on blogging. Let's go to um, just panning around. I did it a little bit earlier, but I was uh, interrupted, unfortunately. Now, like I was saying, I want to, uh, I appreciate doing Blackburn with all the videos he's doing. Peter Gregg notified me about this uh, young man. I think his content is great. So is Peter Gregg. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to mow the grass and put some uh, weed killer. Anyway, let's take some uh, stills. Okay, this is the uh, high definition again, 120 with a 50 millimeter. And let's put it on uh, <laughs> automatic uh, aperture priority. I don't know if that takes effect in uh, the program mode. But this is 50 millimeter, so it's closer for shots. Get a shot of this charboil. See if it comes in. Yeah, it looks pretty good. A little rusty. I'm gonna get rid of it. So I'm walking around. Really you can't use this as a vlogging, but uh, the camera's doing good. I like the lens on here. I love the handle. So this uh, thumb handle gives me a better grip on the camera. Easier to hold. And uh, anyway, I'm walking around. Go to 4K30. So, this is what I'm going to try. Let's see if there's a crop. Okay. Try. Let's see if there's a crop. Okay, so I'm holding this like that. All right, 50 millimeter. Okay, and it's 120. So now I'm going to go 4K 30, see if there's a crop. Okay, is there or isn't there? Do I look bigger? So this is 50 millimeter, okay? It's closer than 40 millimeter. How do I look? This is uh, f2.5, but in program mode, I'm at a 5.6 since I'm outside, okay? I can't change it. I don't think I can. Let's do the dial, there it is. Now, the only bad thing, yeah, I can't change it. Yeah. So, the only bad thing about uh, uh, this uh, A7C only has, uh, uh, you know, the uh, round uh, dial and then the back dial. Doesn't have a front dial. Which might be a good thing because if I'm holding this camera by the handle, I'm not hitting it. So, I don't know if it's on the outside, if I look at, yeah, see, the ZV-1 is bare minimum. So what do you think? I'm walking around, vlogging, and I'm at F10 now, 1 one twenty-fifth of a shutter speed. This is program mode. The only reason why I'm doing it is not for the clarity and stuff on this uh, camera. What I'm doing it for is the focal length. Does this look good at different focal lengths? And then this way it'll help and it's starting to spring a hole. So I gotta bring in my camera. Since they're not waterproof, and bring in the lenses. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Well, let me take some pictures and uh, we'll go inside and talk about this. 
All right. So we're at the last stage, not much more. So this is the 15 millimeter. It's sharp. Now on the videos, you will hear a little clicking. That's the auto focusing going back and forth, back and forth. And that's uh, bad on all three lenses. But let's take a look. I'm going to uh, magnify it. Oh, wrong way. So you see, this is 50 millimeter, f2.5. Um, I was hoping it'd give me, but you know, this is like 6K oversampled, okay? I think I gotta go one more. Maybe one more? No. Maybe up one more. Maybe I'm on the last one. <laughs> Uh, okay. It's going a little bit berserk. All right, let's go right where I was. Sorry about that, folks. Now I'll go down. And you don't need to see this anymore. So let's take a look at the pictures. See if I can get to the next one. There we go. Yeah, yeah, it's working now. So I'm using preview. But you see, 50 millimeter gets some great shots too. You can get great shots out of all of them. The 24 millimeter I like because you can vlog with it and it still has uh, good sharp pictures. So that's it for uh, viewing. I'm going to turn this off. Uh, my dog escaped. Um, but with the Studio 32, I now have two puppy cam cameras. One on the 64, Studio 64, and the other one on this one. And I only have two main cameras. So I decided to put the A7C and the uh, other zv 10 you know, keep that out. And I'll use these for pic taking pictures and stuff like that. I am going to look at the uh, A7C2 and the... Uh, a7CR. I'm interested in a 60 megapixel uh, camera. But uh, anyway, what, what I like about the A7C, you know, Dylan Blackmore showed this on one of his videos, and you can handle it very well. The A7C2 and the R, they have a thumb draw or a front dial now. And that's the only thing is that's what I'm going to check out because uh, really don't need it. And this is just basically for quick videos and picture taking anyway. So if you enjoy the content, I, I got to clean the um, sensor. You notice some spots on that video. Sorry about that. But I haven't used this for a while. And this is the only way I can find out uh, if something is wrong. But these lenses, 24 millimeter, okay, there we go, it should be clear. And then of course the 40 millimeter, and 50 millimeter, they're all G lenses. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Kind of. Pull it out. Let's see if we get everything in here. 
See, this is where you need a wide field of view. Uh, yeah, just move it back. Take this off. Uh, I don't have a product display table over here. So I'm trying to figure out how to show all this. So this is 50 millimeter. I can do that like that. Yeah. Oh well. I tried. <laughs> I need a 12 millimeter on here also. So uh, here's the three lenses. Sorry the video is for so long. But uh, I like it. Uh, I, they're small and compact. And they're great for car vlogging. And uh, on car vlogging, I like the 40 millimeter. Okay. Uh, that would be the bare minimum. You can use the 50, but I wouldn't go any higher than the 50. I've tried it. And uh, uh, 35 to 40, maybe the 45 is good uh, for car vlogging, where you, you put the camera on your dashboard and then you're pointing out. That's the way I do it. And um, you don't want to see me talking and driving at the same time. It's easier for me just to point the camera away and I can start describing stuff that I'm seeing. And uh, anyway, this is the ZVE 10. So I'll bring it back here. Ta -da! And then of course bring it back so I can see the monitor. There we go. And I think what I also did, I do that. You know, you start messing with the settings. Yeah, I think it was something like that. Yeah, that's good. And then uh, I did something like that. That'll work. That works for me. And then uh, here's the uh, uh, CVE-1. What do you think? So this is a different color profile. Um, it looked better when I first started, but then uh, it died on me. So now I have a different color profile. Let me change it real quick. Okay, when it uh, overheated and shut down after I turned it off, and went back to Intelligent Auto. Now I must look a lot better. Sorry about that. And I figured out how to uh, show you uh, off on a product table. So you just move the camera, and there you go, the three lenses. 24, or the 50 millimeter, 40, 24. It's not about the lenses, it's about the focal length. And uh, what do you think? What is your favorite? I like the 24. I like the 40 in other cases, like for uh, when I'm uh, car vlogging. I like the 50 millimeter if I want a close up of people, okay? Uh, 24 millimeter, I love for street photography. So it's wide enough, and yet you can get close enough for uh, good pictures, okay? Uh, I do have the kit lens uh, 28 to 60. Let me get in there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I haven't used this studio in quite a while. But uh, anyway, what do you think? Is it well worth it? I hope so. So uh, thank you for watching. I just, uh, the cat came in, and then he took off. So, anyway, let's get back to here. So, thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. Any questions or comments, put it down in the comment section below. Remember, stay safe. Keep smiling until next time. I shall see you then. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day.